Hi, my name is Javier. I'm a research scientist at Flower Labs. And in this video, I'm introducing a series of video tutorials that we have put together to show you step by step how to design a federated learning pipeline using Flower for simulation. This series is comprised of nine videos that we have divided into, into two big parts. In the first part, we will sh start by showing you how to set up your Python environment. So you will have everything you need to run federated learning with Flower in simulation mode. Then we we'll look into one of the most popular off the shelf models out there and we will partition it. So every client in federated learning gets its own data set. In the next video, we will introduce the Flower client object and guide you on what are the key methods that this object requires in order to participate in the federated learning process by either training the global model using their own local data or evaluating the global model. And also we we'll use this video to introduce the model that we're gonna train in federation. In the next video, we'll show you how you can choose among a wide range of federated learning strategies, which essentially what they do is orchestrate the entire federated learning process by sampling clients, aggregating updates received from the clients in order to obtain a new global model. And we'll use this video as well to show you how you can customize how your global model is evaluated on the server. In the next video, we will show you how to start your simulation and how to run it in either only CPU or CPU and GPU mode in case you have access to a GPU. And once we have seen how to run the simulation, how to start it, we will have a discussion on how you can further optimize your simulation and what are the key, co key things to have in, in mind in order to ensure that the experiment runs as efficient as possible given the resources you have available, whether it is just a laptop, a desktop a machine with a couple of GPUs, or even multiple servers with multiple GPU seats. And the last video of this first part is going to go fairly fast, but in detail on every component that we have seen so far. And everything will be summarized in under eight minutes. Then in the second part, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look into the Hydra configuration system, which will also be used in the first part, but we are not going to make use of all its fancy features. So the first video will present a toy example to walk you through very slowly on how you can use it for this project and any other project. And in the second video, we will resume the code where we left it in the first part, and we will enhance the configuration system and replace certain parts of the code, like how we set up the strategy and how we set up the model with uh, the, the way Hydra works. And this will be particularly interesting the moment you want to scale up your experiments to consider multiple variations of your same strategy, multiple models, multiple type of clients. With Hydra, your code will become much more versatile without having to clutter your code. But Enough details about this will be the content of the second part of the video tutorial series. Before concluding this introdu introduction to this video tutorial series, I would like you to invite and join us in our Flower Slack. It's a vibrant community of federated learning researchers and engineers and other people that are just curious about federated learning. So you're very welcome to join and discuss your projects, ask questions. You can even reach out to me and other members of the Flower team over there. So without further ado, uh, let's wrap up this video and I'll see you in the first video of this series where we will discuss how you can set up your Python environment. Bye.